Hey guys, it's Mrs. Castle. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add Bitmojis to any of your Google Docs or slides or drawings or anything like that. So the first thing you're going to do to add a Bitmoji is you have to sign up for the app. So this has to be done on a phone or on a tablet or an iPad. It can't be done um, on a computer. So Get your phone or your tablet or your iPad and you're going to download the app from either the Google Play Store or the App Store. Okay, so if you have a Apple product like an iPhone or an iPad, use the App Store. If you have an Android device, go to the Google Play Store, search for Bitmoji. Okay, you're going to download the app. It is free. You are going to create an account. Um, if you already have a Snapchat account, I wouldn't link it to that because this, this is gonna be used for school. So I would use your school email um, and password to sign up for a new account for your to have a separate school Bitmoji. Once you have downloaded the app and signed up, you're going to make your Bitmoji look like you. I think you can all figure out how to do that once you're in the app. And then you're gonna save your Bitmoji. So now that your Bitmoji is saved on your phone or your tablet or whatever, that's where you control it from. So anytime you wanna change your Bitmoji's outfit, you have to do it from that app. To get it in your work, you're going to open up Google Chrome so you can see down at the bottom, this little green, red, yellow, and blue circle is the Google Chrome icon. You have to do this on a Google Chrome browser. So if you're using a school Chromebook, you're already there. If you are using an Apple product, you probably have Safari set as your browser. Um, this is a MacBook I'm on. It had Safari set as my browser. I just downloaded Google Chrome. Once you're in Google Chrome, you are going to open a new tab and you're just going to search for Bitmoji extension. And there it came right up. I search and it takes me to the Chrome store. Now, this is an important step right here. Before I click Add to Chrome, I want to look up at the top and make sure I am logged in using my school account. So I can see I am logged in with my at DearbornSchools.org. If you are logged in with your personal email account, your Bitmojis aren't going to show up in your school stuff. So you need to download this on your school account. If you aren't signed into your school account, you would just either click your school account or click add and add your school account. Once you're in the, Google, uh, the Chrome web store, you're going to find the Bitmoji extension, click add to Chrome, click add extension, yes, just keep saying yes. And now I have the Bitmoji app. Now I'm already logged in because I've had this on my computer. You will probably have to log in with that same email and password you put in on your phone. Once you've done that, if I look up here, I see this little puzzle piece. That's my extensions icon. I click on that and I see there's the Bitmoji extension. If I want the Bitmoji extension to show up up here, I click the push pin and that will pin it to the top. You can do that with any of your extensions. So you can see I have some extensions that are unpinned and some extensions that are pinned. The ones that are pinned are up top. Now that my Bitmoji extension is added, I can click on it and I can find things. Most commonly, I like to search for the word pose because it's gonna give, my, give me my Bitmoji um, standing or sitting in different poses without any words above it. So if I want to add something into a Google slideshow, I would right click on it, I would copy the image, and now when I go into my slideshow, I can paste it, and there's my Bitmoji in my slideshow. So for my keyboarding students, you have your locker assignment coming up. If you either can't put a picture of yourself in your locker assignment or you are uncomfortable putting a picture of yourself in your locker assignment, if you put a Bitmoji in instead, I will give you the same amount of points as if you put a photograph of yourself in, okay? So if you have any more questions about Bitmoji, do a little bit of Googling. Um, try to solve your own problems first, and then if you still need help, feel free to send me an email, and I will be happy to assist you. I hope this video helped. See you at our next meeting.